Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a new SBC to review. It's going to be for the footies Duvan Zabata card. Uh, six foot two, high medium work rates, right footed, five star, five star capabilities, which is obviously very nice. Honestly, uh, we I just feel like we've kind of reached a point in the game where they could just do this to everybody, <laughs> you know, because the last like what month and a half of the game left, so why not you know but anyways he's got the little crown thing on top of his uh little rating there so that means that the green links you can work with for a Syria team is obviously going to be pretty sick for a card like this because he's actually formatted pretty decently in-game attributes Ooh, they gave him the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait too that's pretty good I'm not gonna lie to you guys because if you actually look at the way that this card is formatted in game uh, it's an obvious engine chemistry style. Very, very obvious one, right? 99 acceleration with 99 sprint speed. Shooting is already in the perfect area. Long shots at an 84, but guys, this is a big dude, right? Six foot two high and average body type. He's going to be that physical type striker up top, right? With his high medium work rate. So it's not really something you really care about when it comes to like the actual long shots, right? I feel like the finesse shots are probably still going to pop off, to be honest. They pop off less when the card is taller, even with like perfect shooting sometimes, but we're we're still gonna try it, right? Like, cause it's just kind of how the game mechanics work. But we're gonna still we're gonna still see. Um, but yeah, shooting perfect on the card. Volley's even at a 99 too, so they're getting the hang of it now. They know their base card stats is way more important. Uh, passing on the card is gonna be improved massively as well uh, with the engine chemistry style, which is very important to play him in that striker position. Dribbling will also be massively improved because he needs it. You know, he's a high and average body type player he needs a dribbling boost to be in the mid 90s area so good stuff there and then he also is pretty good in the air too with 99 jumping 99 heading accuracy now when it comes to like heading guys unless you're playing like old gen like it, it, you gotta get into like very obvious situations to head the ball right like the taller players will obviously win over the shorter ones so him being a little bit taller will definitely be very helpful but guys this card is an SBC. to be fair it looks really good. He does. For a physical type striker, he could be one of the best, if not the best in the game, because they've given him a lot of crazy stuff. All right. So we are going to go ahead and unlock this card and I'll show you guys how we line him up in game. OK, guys, so we just uh, unlocked a card. We're going to be using him in the Serie A team, which is, to be fair, really well formatted. Um, yeah. So the way that we're going to use this card, guys, is going to look like this. We're going to have him in a 4 one 2 and 2 Lozano's the aggressive one. Philippe in the cam position. Perisic we can play here. Uh, Barella will switch here. Yeah. So it plays Abata in that left striker position, playing on the get and behind instruction. And um, yeah, we'll see how he plays. I have to put this on stay back nowadays because that's a little bit different because people love them counter attacks in this game. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that and see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Was that really offside? I really thought he was on there. I like that that was like a, a controlled rainbow. That was actually really nice. Oh, he actually gets it on the slide shot. That's interesting. Nice finish. Hey, both of the shooting trades with a five-star weak foot, kind of saucy, not going to lie to you. Ooh, that's fast. Oh, that was actually really solid. Unlucky. Oh, we're still good, though. Nice finesse shot. Woo! Listen, it's like I told you guys, he's got those three shooting sets. It's gonna be nasty, those finesses, bro. The long shots aren't as crazy, you know? Nice chip. We'll take that. Cheers! Yo, this card is kind of saucy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. 
Uh, so maybe this is what you guys got to do. Yeah, you guys got the tall players. They can actually score if you give them 99 for those things. Interesting. Oh, it just is attacking AI there. I like it. Yeah, this card is... Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the tall thing with the finesse for him doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter for him. Oh, that's so good too. I messed up. No, I think my thumbstick a little bit weird right there. <laughs> Let's go. That works. That works. I like that he kind of like bent his body to get that finish off. That was pretty cool. Dude, he was on side. I was trying to get that one little through ball angle there. Oh, he got the jam there though with the with the touch. I just did the bad skill move afterwards. Oh, we get the volley. Okay, the volley works too. Oh, I even took an extra touch because I was like, if I take this shot right away, I think it's a go. I, I don't think he scores this. Nice, good finish. You guys all, do you guys remember when we freaked out when Waghorse came out and Waghorse was actually like really sick to use and he was like one of those like first physical type strikers that was like really, really nice? Yeah, this card, I'm getting way better feelings with him than I did with Waghorse during that time period. And you guys know that time period was fun. Look, he adapts so well too. He adapts really, really well to what he has to... What he has to do on the pitch for the meta of this game so quick you know i have to go for it right away you know i gotta go for it Ooh, duvan Oh, dude, it was so... It was perfectly positioned for me to do a bicycle kick. I had to go for it. Oh, I went for a white there. I have to go closer, too. I was going to go for a, a chip, and I went for the chip cancel. I literally did a chip cancel there. <laughs> oh, I try to go for a header there. Those, those ones are random. They're not like obvious ones, right? Nice. Had to work a couple of shot cancels there. Bro, tell me you guys see him adapting. Like, yo, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. This this card, for me, for my club, would be a fan favorite. Did I just time that incorrectly? Yes, I did. Yeah, I just got to wait for the goalie movement. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Duvan Zabata card. So, guys, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. This is exactly what I'm going to say about this card, okay? Uh, you know how I love the flashback Benzema, right? Like, this, uh, there was a meme, like, I love flashback Benzema. He's the best, blah, 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 right? 
this card is the new Flashback Benzema. This is like the current version of Flashback Benzema. This card is awesome. He is honestly so good. This little this little split right here, ignore this, okay? Because this card for 208k performs like a beast in game. He is honestly such a good card. Such a good card. As a striker, because they gave him the base card stats and they have formatted the card a certain way where you can give him the engine chemistry style and he has all of the right things, it is incredible to work with. Obviously, because he is a physical type striker at six foot two, high and average body type, when it comes to the left stick, yes, there's moments where you have to work with it, but that's like a given for any of these types of cards, right? He's genuinely good at doing everything else. He's good at doing everything else. I'm not even joking. This card is insane in game. Attacking positioning is incredible. Attacking AI is incredible. Uh, his shooting comes off great. He has both of the shooting traits and they actually come off really well in game because guys, I always tell you, listen, base card stats, you feel base card stats more than you feel the boost with the chemistry style, okay? Because how many times you give a card a Hawk chemistry style and it gives them 99 of these stats, but they don't have, they don't feel like they have those things. No, this card definitely does because his shots across goal, his finesse shots, he even has the power header trait if you actually get those opportunities where you can actually head the ball too. So this little split right here, ignore that. This card is really good in game. If you guys get him for 208K for a Serie A striker, trust me, he is a beast. If you're okay with just dealing with a little bit of left stick dribbling, right? Because the fact that he's tall, he will compensate for everything else. Remember when I told you guys Weghorst was really fun to use during that time period? This is the... I wouldn't even, I'm not even going to say Weghorst because you guys know that my favorite player this year was Kareem Benzema's flashback card because it's attacking AI galore over there. This is the new Kareem Benzema, okay? And I'm not saying this as a YouTuber, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm telling you, the, I'm telling you guys this card's really good in game, okay? So the comparisons that we're going to be making is going to be with the attackers from the Serie A. And honestly, guys, like, let's see. Let's see what we're working with. Frank Ribery, obviously top class player, 4 million coins though. Way better than Rafael Leão, I'll give you that much. Way, way better. Uh, Di Natale sick, but 2.33 uh, mil. Um, Insigne's cool, but a shorter player, right? So the short players, you know, sometimes they're, they can get outbodied a little bit easily. Um, way better than Tammy Abraham, for sure. Way better, way, way, way better than Tammy Abraham. Um, and for me, I would even, I rate him over this Zlatan card too. This Zlatan during that time period was actually like pretty sick, but way better than Zlatan for sure too. It's a good card, guys. Honestly, if you need a Serie A striker, because listen, this is a great SBC because they gave him the crown. They gave him the little crown thing, right? On top of the rating. That crown thing is so important because guys, look. Crown gives you the green links. You see the green links for the Serie A players? Boom. You're good to go. Super helpful to work with. So... In my opinion, I think the SBC is worth it. He performs like a monster in game. I think he's a beast. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.